Hi there. This is a very serious situation for folks in Japan. So if you're not familiar with the geography, there are four major islands and the one that's the farthest south is called Kyushu. So this is quite a ways away from Tokyo and even Osaka. This is one of the less populated areas. But despite that, almost a million people under immediate evacuation warnings. This thing would be akin to a category five by our standards. You can see a very concentric eye and this thing is now just making landfall. Japan is, I believe, about eight hours ahead of us or no, eight hours behind us. Anyway, you slice it, it's morning there. And so what that means is a lot of folks are waking up to some very serious rain there. And this will continue to make its way over top of the Japanese islands before evacuating off towards the north and east. There's Tokyo there. It doesn't look like it's gonna be in the direct path of it, but it is a very active and very dangerous storm. Meanwhile, on the other end of the Pacific, we've got a good version of a low pressure system. Take a look at this one. This was parallel with Washington this time yesterday. And as the forecast models predicted, taking a trip down towards the south. Again, not a hurricane. This is some very welcome rain. It's going to make its way across northern California and all throughout Oregon. And this is much needed moisture. In fact, you know darn well that our friends there have had a lot of issues with drought and severe wildfires. So to get some cool air and a free drink of water is a real, real blessing. Forgive the satellite image here. Half of that is cut off just because of where the satellite is located. But I just wanted to show you that some of that rain will be moving through the Bay Area and then eventually up into Oregon. And we're even going to catch a piece of it across the eastern portion of the state here. But what you notice is that for the most part, western Washington looks like it's going to stay clear, even of some cloud cover and some showers. This thing's going to be a gift for the south. Now, the Seahawks are in the Bay Area tomorrow to play the 49ers in Santa Clara. That's just a little bit south of San Francisco. Latest forecasts are suggesting that it's not going to be particularly cool there, upper 60s and lower 70s, but it will be raining steadily and that will taper to showers during the second half of the game. Also a bit windy there, coming in from the southeast about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Kickoff is at 1.10 hour time because we're all in the same time zone. Now there is a catch here because we're going to see some southerly flow. We have these beautiful clear skies today. We're going to actually see some of that smoke proliferate up from the south. So yeah, the clear air that we had today is going to be replaced by some smokier air, primarily across eastern Washington. West Western Washington should be fine, but yeah, we got one day of clear air out of the deal. Take a look at radar right now. We already have some showers with some lightning associated with this just now creeping up towards Yakima. That's going to make its way across eastern Washington overnight, but by tomorrow afternoon, the skies are going to clear beautifully. It's going to be a marvelous day in the mid 70s. And if you like mid 70s, we got more of those on the way every single day until the beginning of fall.